Shraddhaya Paraya Tapa. Those who are doing the tapas with great shraddha, with a real understanding of why I am doing it, what is going to be the benefit, where should be my attention, why I am doing japa, repetition of the Lord's name with the beads, why am I doing it, for what purpose, where should be my attention while doing it, by merely rotating the beads, and repeating it as the Arabs do constantly. Every Arab has got a mala in his hand. Wherever he is, in the, in the airport or in the plane, in the train, oil walking, in the market, this is always in their hands. They are using it only for bringing a kind of peace in the mind. They're telling the beads, the Lord, um, the rishis and the saints and sages are prescribed to repeat the Lord's name and turn the beads. But you have no knowledge of the technique. You just do it. Thus, after years of japa, regular, daily, six hours, eight hours, you do the mala. Hare Krishna people do it. Until at last, after seven, eight years, the mala is beautifully polished, but the man is as stupid as before. No polish has come to his thoughts. Because he did not know where to apply the mala. The attention. So, Sraddhaya Balayotaptam. With great Shraddha, with all understanding, those who are doing tapas, tapas tatri vidham nalehi, if they are fall under three kinds, of the three, abhalakan shivir yuktai, those who are doing the tapas with no anxiety for the results. Meaning, those who are not writing accounts of japa. Oh, you must meet them. Swamiji, at this moment, I have 100,493 japa is over. <coughs> so every day they do the japa and calculate how much I've done. And it is added in a notebook. And it is added every week. So that the total increase is, I've done 5 million, 8 million, hey, 10 million, oh, oh. But who wants the account? Except your own vanity. And your friends who will be stupid friends who will be admiring you. Is the Lord keeping an account? How many times? How many times is there a wife in the world who calculates how many times my beloved called me honey? Honey. Honey, 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 honey. And then say that you are never calling me sufficient honey. For the last three days you have never called me honey. Honey mantra. <laughs> if there is a husband that once he has understood that she is calculating your love with the honey word, he goes on. Honey, we will honey, go honey, and come back honey. And what do you think, honey? And so he adds more, more honey. Until at last the honey becomes only a coma, full stop. It's all honey. <laughs> no, that is not it. It may be sufficient once a month, but that honey must have the taste of honey. Not only in your mouth, but in her ears also. Honey. <laughs> For one month she is inspired. See that how he called me. Similarly, Bhagwan also merely by repeating, no, how much of your mind is involved in your japa is more important. That mind cannot be involved when you are motivated by a desire. So your thoughts are on the desire rather than the Lord. Those who have no desires to gain anything, 
out of sheer love he repeats the Lord's name. By repeating the Lord's name continuously in the mind, his intellect contemplates upon the nature of the reality. Such is called the Satvikam Parichachade. It is called the Satvik. Uh, satvik Tapas. Where the individual is doing the Tapas without any anxiety for the fruits thereof. Whether it is the body level or mental level or the speech level, when he is doing it, that is called Satvik Tapas.